hi guys welcome back check this out these are the temperatures outside in the greenhouse greenhouse a b and c so that's the uh, mango greenhouse 28 celsius almost 29 that's the um, pergola greenhouse the plastic one 25 celsius and the big greenhouse at the back under the pine tree 35 celsius whoa so yeah this is beach weather unfortunately we are in lockdown and we can't um do our favorite thing which is uh go to the beach shocking weather again we've got uh, unreal winds here at uh Protopia. It's crazy. 70, 75 kilometer an hour gusts all day today. Wow, we just can't get away from that wind, whether it's winter, spring, autumn, but we'll do our best, right? All right, let's get to today's video. It's time for the first feed, which I haven't done since, wow, March. So compost, um, this, the, this new product here in the middle from Neutrog, the expert's choice. So we'll see how expert it is um, for fruits, um, veggies, and so on, and citrus. So, and this one is a rooster booster, which I've used before. And these are all organic. So let's get started, guys. This is my um, regular biannual feeding, which is in spring and summer. If I can stand up, that is, to the wind. So that's the compost now in there. And I'm going to mix all three bags. The um, slow-release fertilizer and the, um, the new one that I have never tried. But I'm only going to put a little bit of this one and uh, the slow release, uh, all of it. So the ratio is one bag of compost, one bag of uh, slow release um, pellets, and um, maybe, hmm, I don't know, we'll see, maybe half a bag or maybe the whole bag of the, uh, it's called gigantic, gigantic. Yeah, all right, let's do it. Oh, I forgot to mention why I'm doing it today on this nasty, nasty, uh, windy day. Well, guys, it's going gonna, it's gonna to rain, that's why. So I usually pick the day before um, the rain to fertilize, so I don't have to sit there with a garden hose watering 200 fruit trees, right? Let the rain do it. But you want heavy rain, not a sprinkle. So the forecast is for heavy rain tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon. Um, around 20 millimeters, maybe 40. We'll see. We don't know. And that should um, soak this in. So, this is what the slow release pellets look like. Right? And they're good for about, oh, about three months. So, I'll do this again in December, the beginning of summer. Okay, that's all mixed up now. The compost and the nitrogen pellets I decided not to do the the new guy the uh, gigantic I'll do him um, around mm, uh, the end of spring I think this is more um, potassium based so it's not for growing but it's for um, uh, for flavor to get better quality fruit whereas this mix here is for growth strictly for growth so that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go around now and uh, give one scoop to each tree of this mix. So I'm gonna be doing the compost every month, a bag a month, right? That's why I stocked up. So that's gonna be going monthly all the way till uh, Easter, which is uh, April. I had to gl close the garage door. The wind was just going crazy, blowing all debris into the garage. I need to sweep it all up now when I'm done. It's a mess. Yeah, wind.
So this is how I do it. Very simple. This is where you want to have kids around. This is good fun for kids. Kids like to play these kind of games. Well, I used to anyway when I was a kid. Today it's all PlayStations and, uh, you know, virtual reality. Which is pretty cool. I would have loved that 40 years ago. But nope. For us it was climbing trees, riding our bikes, and just being outdoors. Indoors was only for dinner and sleep. The rest of the time was um, outdoor time. All right, so grab a scoop like that, even like that, and <sighs> this is the lemon guava. One scoop. Remember, we're going to be doing the compost every month like this, but the slow release pellets are good for three months. Pull out the weeds, you don't want to feed the weeds. They just come back all the time. Now, I've, I've, I've pulled the weeds out of here like a hundred times in the last five years. They just come back. It's a, um, a game, a, a, a contest you can't win. Okay, so next, you can use gloves if you're sensitive, but I'm not. So just mix it all into the soil so the birds don't come and spray it out and right and the money's gone down the drain because birds love being menaces well my birds here do anyway so they say it should be wet the soil should be wet when you do this but i've been doing for i've been doing this for 20 years in dry soil and i haven't had any losses so that's just being a bit too anal in my books if it's going to rain within the next 12 hours It'll be fine. Okay, so that's how we do it, like that. Next is the Grumi Chama. So you grab another scoop, level. Just plop it there, and then work it in. You don't need much. I might go around with a, with a hose and water it in, I guess, I don't know. The soil is very dry, wonder why. We've had so much damn rain and the soil is dry. So grab a bit of soil here and sprinkle it over. So the birds aren't curious enough to investigate what these pellets are. Yeah, me and the birds aren't, aren't best friends, as you've noticed. Okay. So right, so there you go, covered all covered up. So I'm not gonna film the other uh, 198 trees. Ooh. Instead, um, I'll get back to you after uh, I'm halfway. So the video is not too long. Ooh. Look at my head, it's a mess. We can't get a haircut either. <laughs> Two months without a haircut. So, 20 minutes later guys, every tree has been fertilized with slow release nitrogen, potassium and uh, phosphorus. That's how we do it. Let's go to the back now and finish off. We've got about um, half left for the back, so that worked out really good. All right, let's get this job finished. I'm gonna do the back now. I hope I have enough. There's uh, twice as many trees back here. Alrighty, we're done. And that's the, uh, the fertilizing schedule and regiment here at Fruitopia. Hope you enjoyed this guys and you got something out of it. If you have any further questions please ask in the comments and don't forget to um, subscribe if you haven't to this channel and also set the notification so you can be notified of any new videos. I wish to be making at least one video every day over spring and summer so it's going to be a very busy 
very busy and hopefully not as windy uh, channel coming up. Alright guys, see ya.